Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Jim and I have a busy, busy day. The first order of business is we are meeting my aunt and uncle for sushi. They want to take us out for sushi. I guess when they think of us, they think of sushi. So Yummy. they called us last week and they're like, tell me what day you're available. We need sushi. And I'm super excited. So. It's, so is my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, we it, it's like 1230, but we have not eaten any breakfast. We're like ready to just devour the sushi. So after that, we have a lot of different things. I need to find an ugly sweater, an ugly Christmas sweater for my family's Christmas party. Um, I need to go pick up some mail, like a parcel. I don't know why it wasn't delivered to the house. Um, I have to mail out uh, one of the dive bet prizes. Oh my gosh, what else? There's so many things. We need some groceries. We gotta go buy some shoes. That's not a joke. Shoes. Boots what? for the winter. Oh, we need toothpaste. We need dog food. We need dog shampoo. Oh my gosh, I forgot all the list. I need to write a list. Check it twice. But first, sushi. <laughs> sushi. 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 How do you feel? Oh God. That you're gonna fall asleep? Oh, I just wanna freaking fall asleep on the steering wheel. I'm so full, I'm I'm packed. I have <laughs> like a one pack ab. <laughs> it's called a belly. We got the scale. Hopefully the post office is open. Okay, so this is the scale that we are sending to the girl who won this prize in my dive bag. <laughs> yes, you're a lovely showman, thank you. <laughs> so it, I love this scale, it's the one I use. So it does your weight, your body fat percentage, I wish 10%, your water weight, your muscle mass, and your, your bone, bone densi density. density. So um, we're sending this, I believe she lives in Alaska. I have her address in my phone. So we're gonna put it in here. I gotta, I gotta put some stuffing in okay, the Okay, put, do. Seriously. Just want to make it some sort of sturdy. If this thing gets thrown around while in transit, we are waiting in line. Indeed, we are. I just want to pack this I, and send it off to good old Alaska. I still have to pick up your own private parcel. Somebody, I Stop like secret parcel. That we don't know about. Yeah, well, no, know what it is. I know. I know what I've ordered online. Is it for me for Christmas? I got your thing for Christmas already sent to the house. Ooh. It's hidden. I'm gonna go and look for it. No. I won't though. Um, yeah, everything should come to our house and anything that I'm not there to receive, the, like the concierge of our building receives. So I have no clue why, why this one just got returned. Why it got <laughs> sent back to the post, post office. office. I don't know. Oh well. 42.27. Wow. <laughs> I think this is the evil eye bracelet that I ordered. I think it's so tiny and it feels so empty. Cause you know how like when you're, uh, you, we were talking with your mom about the evil eye yeah. because of the, your niece. So it made me all like interested in evil eye. And I, I thought wanted, there was nothing in there for a second. Oh my I God. just wanted a dainty little evil eye thing. So I ordered this online. It's so cute actually. I don't know if you can see it. Can you read? Oh, I thought it said, Hair tips. I thought it was talking about the evil eye. Negative. 
let me know in the comments if like you believe in the evil eye maybe it's too small <laughs> can you put it on <laughs> what the heck is that is that for a baby it's not even gonna fit me i'm a little concerned guys i don't know if you can see my face probably no can, you're not but... even in the frame oh how did they know Oh, that's cute. It's so dainty. It's, it's perfect. It's so dainty. I love it. It's actually too big. I like when bracelets stay. So dainty. Yeah, I just, I've, I think like if you're any kind of European or more, I think a lot of yeah. people do the evil yeah. eye. Wow, Jim, look how low it goes now. We thought it was so tiny. But that chain is so dainty, my I God. love it. It's so like, you can't even see the chain. You can just see pretty much the evil eye. So yeah, I'm just going to keep this on me all the time. It came from Poland. Wow. It's a long way. I just found it on like Etsy. I've never shopped online, really. I've always just gone to stores, but I didn't know like where I could find an evil eye like inexpensive. I know like you could go to a jewelry store and get like gold ones. Next stop, food for Oliver. And uh, Yorkie, like Oliver's a Morkie, which is a Yorkie Hannah Maltese. And they have like hair, not fur. So I've just been using um, our shampoo to, to bathe him because they can, they have the same pH as us. But I wanna get a pet shampoo specifically because the shampoo gets in his eyes and I know for me it stings when the shampoo gets in my eyes so I want a pet shampoo that won't sting when it goes in his eyes because I always feel so bad. Aww. Hello. What, what's, what's it Looks like a guinea pig. Guinea pig. He looks dead. He doesn't even look Charlotte. Hi Charlotte. Small breed. Okay. Chicken? <laughs> Whatever. Maybe we should get him something else. No. Yeah, let's get oh lamb and brown rice. Yeah, but that's not small dog. Yeah, it, yeah. it's not. It's medium. Why well, he's a medium dog? He's not a medium dog. Medium Oliver's dog. a pip squeak. Are you crazy? Okay, let's go to the like where the shampoo would be. Here it is, right? Ultra premium shampoo. This is such a nice store. Okay. Ooh, coconut. <laughs> coconut. That's okay. Such a cute face. Sorry, I'm causing you some grief. No, no, it's okay. No, no, I just... <gasps> Hello. Hi. You look like Jack. This looks like my old cat, Jack. Aww. Aww. Hello. So cute. Don't go to the bum. I know, they get very, Fancy they don't know you. So cute. No, relax, she's just enjoying it. Hi, kitty. You're just a lazy kitty. You wanna come home I think with cats me? are more our style. You wanna come home with me? Uh, Oliver's a little bit too hyper for our Netflix and chill. Literal do you, chill. Do you think it's okay if I touch her paw? Some cats are okay with it, some cats are not. But I think if she's left out, then she's a very chill cat. Awesome. She has very big paws. I know. She's so cute. Can Walmart sponsor me already? <laughs> oh, I already see ugly sweaters. We're right here. Okay, this evil... This evil snowman who's like, hey, it's a polar bear. excellent. It's a polar bear who looks evil. So this isn't like ugly, ugly, but it's silly. It's Santa and Rudolph taking a selfie with a selfie stick. That's so me. This is the one, Mr. The evil. The abominable snowman. Yeah, is it a polar bear or a it snowman? Looks, it looks to me like an abominable snowman. Perfect. Jim wants a PlayStation 4. I want it. 
but our PlayStation 3 completely works. Yeah. And you have games. I'll have, I'll have two PlayStations. One to play the new games, one to play the old games. No. Just like all the all, all, all the big kids do now. We have so many PlayStation 3 games that you won't be able to play with the PlayStation 4, so what's the but point? But I'm not going to trade the PlayStation 3 in, or I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it, use that to play all the games, and I'm going to buy a PlayStation 4 so I can play the new games. But you barely have time to play your PlayStation 3 games. So I don't get it. Oh my gosh, now he's looking at toys. Oh my god. Now he's looking at toys. Oh my god. Ladies, tell me, do men ever really grow Star up? Star Wars? I don't think they do. Oh, it looks like the, the cartoon you watch. Yes, it is. It is. Look at, look at that. Hold it still, babe. We got little skulls. Jim and I love skulls. This thing, I think, is going to be right. But what do we do with this guy? Do I tear him off? What guy? This, this. Yeah. That damages the innards, I think. So then why'd you rip it off? Because you told me to. If I told you to jump off a building, would you do it? Yep. Did you do it? I did it. Cool. I like the skulls. Purdy. I like when malls are, <laughs> I like when malls are decorated. <laughs> why is my face in it so much? Because I don't like when my face oh, is in it because I feel kind oh, of embarrassed. EB Games is up ahead. Oh. We were just in the game section. I actually probably need more proactive. Um, this mall is packed like crazy. And looking through the screen is actually not letting me face forward. I just, I'll walk you through the crowd. Okay, we're here. What are we here for? Shoes. Shoes. Jim, I found the shoe. Is that for me? Yeah. Your new workout shoe? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. For sure. The lucky shoe. Absolutely. Alright, wrap it up. How much is it? I bet you this is like a popular shoe. Oh look! What's the original price there, Jim? $1,380. Jim? Yeah? Jim, I found your, your new work shoe. You can wear work? this to work. Yeah. You can smash me on the head with this because I would You never like it? it? You like this shoe? How much is it? Oh, this is reasonable. Only $248 on sale for $149. Sold. Just joking. Put you over here next to your cousin. Are you getting running shoes? Yeah. But I think we're in the women's section. I want running shoes. I want a pair of Nikes. I don't own. <laughs> I own like New Balance, but my toes are kind of popping out of them. And I have some Skechers, but they don't really support me so well. How about this one? I like those ones. That pink and stuff. <laughs> pink and gray. I like them. Oh my god, the boot that I have home will be better quality. So try it out. You too. Thanks, thank you. So you got your boots? Boats. Ready for the winter. And now you just need running, running shoes. shoes. My god, this is an expensive day and we barely did any Christmas shopping for other people. But I think I'm like over the mall. I guarantee the amount of walking we've done today has burnt off a lot of the sushi. Yeah, a lot of the sushi. I feel like fully digested again. So do I. I think what like, that means, time to have a burger. No, I think for dinner I'm gonna have oatmeal to be honest. Because we had our cheat meal during the lunch, so. Hey, why, why are you and we bought chocolate milk? almond milk. I'm gonna have chocolate almond milk. It's 100 calories per glass, but it'll be like a little sweet treat after, like when we're watching movies tonight. So we just got home and I am drained. Like walking through malls and stores during that, especially during the holidays is so draining, not just physically, but mentally. Like, and also too, I, I'm supposed to wear glasses to see far and walking through the mall, I'm like squinting to look at the stores and the products and the prices. And that just gives me a huge headache. I don't know why I don't wear my glasses. I, I just don't like the way I look in them. So. I tend to just wear them when I drive or when I'm home watching TV. Um, 
But before I say goodbye, I just want to kind of do a little quick chat about my week. Um, the last vlog was Monday and I had told you about the fact that I was feeling down over the weekend, last weekend. And that continued through this week. I, I was really, I, I feel like that sometimes. I don't know, I just go through like little depressions and the entire week was rough. Like I still worked out sometimes and I tried my best to eat healthy food, but um, just mentally and emotionally, I was just sad and down and gloomy. And there's, I don't know, I, I posted something on Instagram and I had mentioned that I'm thinking it has a little bit to do with the fact that this month I feel like my body is reflecting the choices I made last month like the month of October with all like my honeymoon and then continuing to eat poorly now that we're in November my body is showing those things because yeah things are getting fluffier and puffier and more bloated and yeah it could be that because when I think about that it gets me really really sad um but it could be other things or it could just be that's the way I am I just I've always dealt with things like this where I get anxiety for stupid things and I get depressed for things that other people wouldn't get depressed about and for things that I don't know like I just get depressed for no reason I just feel down really all I wanted to do this week was eat and sleep um, I try my best to eat healthy um, I probably there was a few days I probably ate like bigger portions than I should have hey Oliver um, like I probably ate more calories sometimes like some of the days but I try my best to eat healthy um, and I try my best to work out most of the days I didn't work out yesterday but yeah, most of the time I was just sitting at home and just kind of staring off and being sad. So I'm really hoping that um, that I that it just lasted this week and it was, it's over. I hope it doesn't last a long time. And I'm gonna really try my best to like snap out of it because it's it makes you exhausted. It just makes me like feeling depressed. Just makes me tired, even physically achy. Like my shoulders hurt, my neck hurts, my I have headaches. So I need to snap out of it. Um, and um, yeah, as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm trying to like think of ways. But I mean, there's all I can really do is just try try to be positive because sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, and that's kind of what I did with the weight loss thing. Was I pretended to be excited and into it till I actually was and even when I'm in like a little depression I need to kind of force being happy and force putting a smile on my face and um, vlogging really helps me too because when I think of you guys it makes me really happy it makes me you guys warm my heart because 90% of you are so supportive so I feel like a lot of you are my friends, especially the people that I recognize um, your names. So vlogging really helps to like put a smile on my face when I feel like I'm chatting with you, I'm chatting with my friends. And yeah, so I'm hoping that this weekend I snap out of it. I had a pretty good day today. And um, Jim and I decided to watch, uh, sometimes we get like, we like to watch new movies and new things, but sometimes we'll get like a random craving for a certain movie um, that we've watched a thousand times or something. Um, I've watched all the Harry Potters, of course, but Jim, funny enough, hasn't watched any of the Harry Potters. So I'm like, how do you feel about watching the first Harry Potter? And he's like, yeah. So we're totally feeling like getting into like kid magical mode and watching some of that. And I think I'm gonna have some oat blueberry oatmeal. And then for like dessert, I'm gonna have, we got chocolate. Uh, chocolate almond milk so that's gonna be a nice sweet treat and that's it just cuddle with Oliver do you want to say like hello or goodbye Oliver 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 come here come here Oliver say goodbye to the people oh all right are you gonna say goodbye to the people <laughs> come here all right, if you enjoyed spending our Saturday with us, 
please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.